talked to him about it before, and if I'm remembering I've correctly, I've asked him that's what he, it is. he wouldn't tell me because he, he he saw how much my head was burning because I, I couldn't figure it out, and and now I I finally know, and it was Mr. Game. Okay, so we're going into game number one. Here. <laughs> Professor Mr. Game and Watch. Sorry if I just ruined a trade secret for you, bro. Um, if you watch these mods, don't get mad. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's okay. He's wild. If you watch, if you go to his Twitter at any point in time, but. We're seeing a relatively similar gameplay coming in from what we saw from Mars and Mr. E and the way that they try to separate and go for these 1v1s. They're not trying to go for these 2v1s. They want to win on the ledge traps and prevent them from getting anything started. Right. In the case of Jen and Lade, I think they know that, all right, individually we're favored against each of these opponents. Jen and Jewel play pretty much every week, and I would say MGW has had his fair share of run-ins with um, him as well. But that said, Teamwork is really going to be the defining factor of the set, right? So we'll see if they're able to just put some stuff together. Unfortunately, that's going to be Jewel going out off the top nice and early. Said teamwork has been, you know, the, the entire blueprint so far. You saw that Luke Kool-Aid doing what he was doing best, standing directly in front of Jen. So there's no way that MGW could get in and protect Jewel. Jewel, and, Jewel ended up losing his stock because of it's 2v1. But Jewel paying Ooh. the favor right back. Not one up there, but two taking out those two stocks. And all of a sudden, Yellow Team actually in the lead here. Jewel gonna angle that L wind. Real Whoa, the wind box from Polytana's down smash. What? What I, happened there? Oh, he jumped from ledge, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe he, might have he double ran out jumped of, as well and run out of L wind. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been like way too much end lag, but I'll be all. I'll be at all of that. MGW stocks are gonna go down back to well, what would have been a relatively even game, but Jewel going down. Yeah, it would have been a lead too, because MGW had three stocks. But oh man, super unfortunate break for these guys, but. It's not completely over yet. Laid already taking quite a bit of damage, but Jen gonna come right in there, rescue his teammate. Yeah, but you see the difference between the yellow team now. They're trying they're trying to push the initiative. They realize that they were getting walled out in the corners. Now they're running in as much as possible, especially MGW with that speed that he has and the mobility of Greninja to get it so they can get these 2v1 combos. Yeah, this is such a good team comp just because you have all that speed of Greninja and then Robin being so versatile from far away. Mm -hmm. You never know what projectile you're gonna get either, right? Oh, he was in position right there, but I think Jewel just held the jab a little bit too long for his liking. Yeah, just a, a very minor missed time. He definitely would have taken a stock out on Kool-Aid there, but Kool-Aid's going to live to see another day. Ooh, Ooh the parry on Shield Breaker. Parry and the dash is going to close it out too. Jewel has just been so good at being the consistent killer of these stocks. Well, I was going to say we got a lot of damage on the yellow team, but the stocks were even. Unfortunately for MGW, he's going to fall to his last one right now, but we've seen this team make some crazy comebacks already. Could be their time. Yeah, it's not even like too far out of range too because of the defense that Jewel has had throughout the set. Finally, gonna see that stock get taken away there. MGW gonna close out the stock on Jen. I, I definitely don't, I, I can't write this off yet. You know, regardless of the fact that he's at 134, Jewel does a really good job as the match progresses of holding that last stock. Yep, just hanging on super well. Gets sent to the other side of the stage by Jen's back air there. Still hanging on. But now, MGW left all alone with Jen in the corner. Oh, pops the neutral air just before back air is able to come through. And we've got some ping pong going on, building all that damage. Down air to back air, not enough. Blade trying to just hold the ledge. There's going to throw him towards the up smash. That's going to close that right out and the explosive flame as well. Very clean uh, finish of that game right there after what was looking like a little bit of a comeback from the old team, but just stopped right away as soon as that up smash ended up coming through. That was a roller coaster, man. Mm. It looked so good for Jen and Lady at the beginning, but then we saw a serious comeback. We saw some weird SDs slash failures to recover. Mm -hmm. And you see the swiftness of the fact that Jen put that over there because he knew that Jewel was going to try and get himself back and centered on the center stage as quick as possible, being buried in there in the 2v1. It's like, absolutely not. You're going to go away. That was actually ridiculous, man. That was one of the best games to watch that I think we've seen mm -hmm. all day. Jewel and MGW, man, showing that they've got some serious tenacity. These guys are not people to count out by any means. You know, you might not even know them. If you're watching at home, you're like, who are these dudes sitting in top four? Meanwhile, Jen and Lade, you've definitely heard of them, right? Yeah, but well, if you don't know, now you know. And you see, like, the, the how well these two, just right after a match, they start talking immediately. Like, all right, all right, let's figure this out. Let's not just let this get in our heads, anything like that. Uh, you know, just amp each other up. And they, they, they did this before, too. They constantly pick a good song afterwards for them just to kind of clear the mood and just go into the next game. Yeah, no, I like that strategy. Even the little things, you know, color, counterpick, stage slash song counterpick, right? 
really does have that subtle mental effect on a player that could make the difference of whether they're going to be feeling good or still feeling a little bit stressed out from dropping the first game. Oh, they decided to stick with this song for the Saints. Okay, so we're going to be in a little bit more of a mellow mood going yeah. here to this game number two. We call this Smashville music. Oh, my God. Please don't remind me of that. <laughs> Getting put to sleep during finals. Well, well, I can't remember the name of the song that was on. Uh, the Roost. Yes. Yeah, that one's definitely uh, a sleeper, not a schlapper. But... Definitely not these matches, though. No sleeping happening allowed. These guys are staying on point, even though we're going really deep in the bracket. Really dead even here. Much more aggressive play coming in from the yellow team, trying to reestablish this lead. That said, percent's looking good for a red team right now. And oh, never mind. I was going to say all that kill power from Robin. We could see it turn around real quick. Yeah, it's going to be late dropping the first stock of the game. Got Jewel coming to help Mr. or Professor MGW out of a bad spot. Percents don't mean a whole lot until you see somebody who's consistently able to close out the kills. And the yellow team, even though they were behind it percent-wise, you could see that they had the decision-making going from there, starting to really reset it themselves. Chen just busting laid out with the up throw right there. Definitely didn't want to grab him, but mm -hmm. of all the options he could have picked, that was the right one. As long as you don't send them to your opponent. It's just like, all right, yep. get him out of dodge and, and accept the mistake. That Nair is going to finally close out that stock on MGW right-hand side. Yeah, that last hit only, but there was just so much damage on MGW. Oh, I like that, rolling underneath the landing up air. For Ninja, able to low profile so many moves in this game. Oh, with the spike! Wow, Blade is actually nuts. He's been going for that a lot just throughout these games. This is the first one that really landed, at least in such an emphatic way. He boxed with MGW on the left-hand side there, too, and kept making the right call. That was really good outplaying gameplay for Blade over MGW there. All right, Joel going to drop his first stock. Wow, another spike, and he's trying to triple dip on this man. Mm -hmm. And because he did, he put himself in disadvantage, and Joel took care of that immediately and actually getting themselves back to even because of it. That auto multi-parry looks so sick. If you had to do that manually, that would be crazy. But mm -hmm. the re-hit rate on Explosive Flame fast enough that you can just do it We can once. have our own Evo moment with, uh, with the parries. True. I mean, Ken's starting to find his way back. Oh, Joel so close to taking that last stock from Laid right mm -hmm. there. That would have been ridiculous. Yeah, being able to just snipe that stock and force a share stock early around 41% would have been amazing for them. But Laid finding his way back into center stage, and this time Jen's the one to take the point. Usually it's been the other way around. Yeah, Palutena really good in the back row, but these characters, these players, both versatile enough to play either role. I don't know if that was an intelligent decision or a mistake that worked out in his favor, but that down smash is going to be met later on by an F smash that takes both teammates out, and we're back to a one stock piece game here. Yeah, super tight margins right now. Only about 20% between them. Oh, red team is good, though. It's also still a best of three. Like, it, it goes back to best of five once we get to losers finals. So, you got you got uh, MGW and Jewel looking at their last stocks. Oh, and if Jewel and MGW manage to win the set, by the way, it'll be a run back in the losers finals as opposed to a first time meeting in bracket. So, kind of want to see that just for the culture, you know, mm -hmm. just to get all the possible matches. But I don't know, it's still anybody's game. Oh, there we go, MGW taking the stock from Laid. Jen left all by himself right now. And we're gonna see Jewel have to take the front just because of the percent that MGW's at. Back throw, dash attack, so many moves that could do it. Excellent DI though on the part of MGW, keeping Jen himself in it. doing a great job of keeping them separated too. How many times tonight have we seen these, these 2v1s where you see Jewel and MGW just kind of tearing their opponent piece by piece? But Jen really holding his ground well, almost getting hit by the back end of Smash Attack, and that is gonna take the stock oh. out the explosive flame oh. as well. Jen closing that right out. And uh, yeah, I, I think they were paused for a second, but they realized it is the best of three. That was great gameplay from Jen at the end there. It really was. Able to win the 2v1 against two characters that fill the screen so effectively. And not only are they able to keep the screen very busy with projectiles, but also the raw speed of Greninja really makes him a threatening force in 2v1s. But man, Jen keeping his head on straight. A clutch fair from all the, like I think from center stage, it still managed to kill MGW and then, man, Jewel just a little bit too high up with that explosive flame yeah, off I think stage. Part of that might have been uh, MGW trying to recenter himself, holding out while doing so, and Possibly. gave a little bit of DI assistance to that. He was a high percent too, but then the mental awareness of Jen right afterwards, like, all right, I'm going to catch you with this explosive flame again. Same way he caught him in the last set, this time off stage. Yeah. And uh, Jen just outplaying both of them really at the end there in the 2v1. That's, uh, I think, sec second successful 2v1 we've seen tonight. Yes. Only. Uh, 
followed by Tilde beating both Cable yep. Lob and um, Mr. Escalator. Escalator. Yeah.